The accurate assessment of mediastinal and hyalur lymph node involvement is an essential part of lung cancer patient management, contributing to staging and disease prognosis. In this instructional video, we will demonstrate how EBUS bronchoscopy can be used to map mediastinal and hyalur structures. Our descriptions are based on precise anatomical definitions provided by the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer. Using dynamic imaging techniques, positioning of the EBUS bronchoscope inside the airways is described, as are vascular and airway structures surrounding specific nodal stations. Station 2R, the upper right paratracheal region, extends to the left lateral border of the trachea. The upper border is the apex of the right lung and pleural space, and in the midline, the upper border of the sternal manubrium. The lower border is at the intersection of the caudal margin of the innominate vein with the trachea. The EBUS scope is placed against the right tracheal wall, with the upper trachea at the level of the fourth to fifth tracheal rings. The transducer is oriented towards the three o'clock position. The lymph node is seen just distal to it. The innominate artery can be visualized in cross-section. Note the acoustic shadow artifact caused by calcification inside the lymph node. Station 2L, the upper left paratracheal region, includes nodes extending to the left of the left lateral border of the trachea. The upper border is the apex of the left lung and pleural space, and in the midline, the upper border of the sternal manubrium. The lower border is the superior aspect of the aortic arch. To visualize this station, the scope is placed against the left tracheal wall in the upper trachea at the level of the fourth to fifth tracheal rings. The transducer is oriented towards the nine o'clock position. The left carotid artery is seen next to the airway. Slightly more anterior, the main and nominate vein is seen. Just above it, a small lymph node is visualized. The right lower paratracheal region, station 4R, includes right lower paratracheal nodes and pretracheal nodes extending to the left lateral border of the trachea. The upper border is the intersection of the caudal margin of the innominate vein with the trachea. The lower border is the lower aspect of the azagous vein. The EBUS scope is placed just proximal to the main carina and turned towards the 3 o'clock position. 4R nodes, however, are often pretracheal in a more anterior position, so the scope needs to be turned counterclockwise towards the 12 o'clock position. In this video, the transducer is oriented laterally. The lymph node is seen just above the azagous vein. Distally, the normal lung is visualized. In this next video, the transducer is oriented anterolaterally so that a lymph node is seen in front of the superior vena cava. In the bottom video, the transducer is oriented anteriorly. Station 4R is seen above the pulmonary artery located at the 9 o'clock position and in front of the superior vena cava, which lies in front of the ascending aorta. Station 10R is immediately adjacent to the right main bronchus and hyalur vessels, including the proximal portions of the pulmonary veins and main pulmonary artery. The upper border is the lower rim of the azagous vein. The lower border is the interlobar region between the right upper lobe and bronchus intermedius. To visualize this hyalur nodal station, the EBUS scope can be gently advanced from the carina to the origin of the right upper lobe bronchus. The transducer is oriented anterolaterally towards the 2 o'clock position. The lymph node is visualized in front of the normal lung. Hyalur vessels may be encountered depending on exact lymph node position and scanning orientation. Station 7 is naturally examined next. The upper border of this subcarinal nodal station is the main carina of the trachea. Its lower borders are the lower border of the bronchus intermedius on the right and the upper border of the lower lobe bronchus on the left. To visualize station 7, the scope is placed in the proximal right or left main bronchus. The transducer is oriented medially. In this example, the scope is in the right main bronchus. 
and the lymph node is seen above the left atrium. Station 4L includes nodes to the left of the left lateral border of the trachea, medial to the ligamentum arteriosum. Its upper border is the upper margin of the aortic arch. Its lower border is the upper margin of the left main pulmonary artery. To visualize station 4L, the scope is placed in the proximal left main bronchus at the level of the main carina. The scope is turned to the left, towards the 9 o'clock position. The lymph node is seen above the pulmonary artery, located at the 9 o'clock position distally, and below the aortic arch, found at the 3 o'clock position proximally. Station 10L is immediately adjacent to the left main bronchus and hilar vessels, including the proximal portions of the pulmonary veins and main pulmonary artery. The upper border is the upper margin of the left pulmonary artery. The lower border is the interlobar region between the left upper and lower lobes. To visualize hilar station 10L, the ebiscope is placed in the proximal left upper lobe bronchus. The tip of the scope is pressed to the bronchial wall towards the 11 o'clock position. A conglomerate of two nodes is seen in front of the left pulmonary artery, located near the 7 o'clock position. Station 11L is comprised of nodes located in the region between the origins of the left upper and lower lobar bronchi. To visualize Hyler Station 11, the scope is advanced towards the proximal part of the lower lobe bronchus. The transducer is oriented laterally towards the left in order to scan for interlobar lymph nodes. In this example, the lymph nodes and lung parenchyma are visualized, but depending on the exact position of the node and the scanning orientation, interlobar vessels may be seen as well. Station 11R, superior, includes nodes between the right upper lobe bronchus and the bronchus intermedius. To visualize Hyler Station 11R superior, the tip of the ebus scope is placed in the proximal bronchus intermedius, just below the subcarina separating the upper lobe bronchus from the bronchus intermedius. The area between the 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock positions is scanned. The lymph node and interlobar artery, located at the 9 o'clock position, are clearly seen. Station 11R inferior is between the middle lobe and right lower lobe bronchi. To visualize Station 11R inferior, the ebus scope is positioned in the proximal right lower lobe bronchus. In general, the transducer can again be oriented towards the right lateral wall. Here, the lymph node and lung parenchyma are visualized. Again, interlobar vessels can be seen depending on the exact position of the node and scanning orientation. In this instructional video, we have shown how the EBUS bronchoscope can be used to map mediastinal and hilar nodal stations. Lymph node size may be measured, and EBUS-guided transbronchial needle aspiration can be performed for diagnosis or staging purposes. For more information on this and other bronchoscopic techniques, visit us on Facebook, YouTube, and at www.bronchoscopy.org.